Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails at Dawn to Crimson Sin. Last time we uh, stopped something pretty bad from happening, and actually there was quite a doozy of a side quest that I did in between uh, last episode and this one. I mentioned it before, but yeah, I was right. That kid that we were asked to investigate, he was one of the survivors from Crail Village. And basically, like, he was having a real rough time of it. Like, he just kind of, like, couldn't run away or, like, couldn't, like, turn his eyes away from it anymore. And he was like, I don't know, I felt really bad for him. Kind of hard to explain, but, like, basically he got involved with, like, those strengthening drugs. And he was being used by a Jaeger group that was uh, over here. And they were trying to, like, like, they were using his, uh, like rage and stuff and like the drugs that they were giving him were like giving him power and stuff and they wanted to make him like a new member so that's why they were giving him drugs and we ended up saving him with the help of a what what's the name what 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 was it that fucking estelle and joshua were in trails in the sky one like semi braces like heart like junior braces that's it yeah so he was a junior bracer and he helped us out he was like like he was friendly with rash cal before all this even happened and he, like, figured out where they were, so we went in together and, like, saved a kid. And, uh, it turned out that this guy, the his name was Gray, the junior bracer. His sister was one of the ones that was killed by Almata. She was a bracer, too, and, uh, she, like, infiltrated them to get information. And then they, uh, ended up killing her brutally, apparently. So he wanted revenge, so he, like, lied about his past and stuff, came to the Republic and joined the guild so that he could get revenge on them. And apparently all the other guild members uh, like knew that, except like, 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 and he didn't know that they'd figured it out already, but like, even so he was like kind of starting to kind of move forward and like stop being driven by revenge kind of thing. So there were a lot of similarities between Grey and Rashkal. And uh, yeah, so it was, it was quite like, it was quite a heavy, uh, that side quest, but there was a choice. And I'm just going to get it up right here. Basically, uh, that kid had taken in a lot of the drugs. So we were obviously going to send him to a hospital and there was a choice. Like triangle was to send him to a normal hospital. But the problem with that would be that uh, if they knew that he'd been taking illegal drugs, then that would be on his record. Or technically they weren't even illegal, but they were like gray. Like, they use the word grey there, but whatever. Um, and then Square was sending him to Isabel, the, the underworld doctor, who I think we helped out in the first game. And I guess that would have probably given grey. But yeah, so that's that. And there was a, there's another side quest too that you can see on my thing. I wanted to show this because it's kind of interesting. It was from Mirabelle and she said there's a monster we got to kill in the garden. And it's said to go into Rosette's room. Yeah, so this is Rosette's room. Like, there shouldn't be a problem with us uh, going in since it's for, like, a quest, so, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she told us to check Rosette's uh, terminal. And then you access the monster from there directly. So you don't actually go into the garden. Fuck sake, it's just the three of us. Well, actually, this works out because uh, this is what the, the fifth stratum looks like. And I didn't get to show it. Something uh, else that I might be able to show here, I don't know. Nope, okay, it's back to normal. I changed the battle music. Because I got Infinity Rage. So when I'm in the normal garden, the music is uh, Infinity Rage. Cool. I get heal on you, I think. These two are pretty close to leveling up. Yeah, this is weird. These are uh, new enemies too. Actually, no. This this is a slightly different area to uh, the fifth stratum, I think. This, the the fifth stratum was like a corally area. And this is a uh, this is more like a forest like area. It's definitely like the same kind of color, but yeah. This is, Definitely slightly different. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna 
cut this out, to be honest. I'll cut back if anything interesting happens, but I'm just gonna finish up this quest and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm pretty sure this boss is fucking impossible right now. I tried a bunch of things, but basically there's two guys with like 20,000 HP there, and then the boss himself has 50,000. And they do like, they have like multi-targeting moves that do like a thousand damage each, and I, I just cannot keep up with it with like shields and stuff. So, fuck it, I'm not even, like, the thing is, it might actually, I feel like there's no way they expect you to do that now. We must be able to come back and do that later. I feel like it would definitely be possible if we had all our party members, but we only have three, for fuck's sake. Yeah, if you go back, then the main story will progress. Didn't say anything about quests, though. Interesting. It just said the main story will progress, so maybe we will be able to come back with a fourth party member. Uh, wow, that, like, a lot happened today. I'm super tired. Well, the first half of it was mostly our fault, I think. Like, I, I think he means, like, in the morning kind of thing. But, uh, on yes. Uh, do you have, like, a curfew? It's already pretty late, so we'll help out with your, like, paperwork and stuff. Yeah, we'll, uh, be able to do it quickly with three of us. Ah, uh, thank you. And thus, even despite everything that happened, uh, the day that the transfer students came to Aramis uh, was nearing its end. After being treated to dinner at Montmartre, uh, Anya's went back to her dorm. And although she tried to contact Van, who was out of the city, uh, she couldn't really get through to him. So she sent him an email, or like a message, saying what had happened. The next morning. Oh, where are those two? But we were supposed to be meeting up early today. We're gonna be late! <laughs> hey, Su-chan, that's not what we planned. Uh, Anya's is waiting for us. Let's stop messing around. Boo boo, uh, you're not enjoying this enough, Su-chan. Wait, don't tell me she prepared, like, toast so that she could do that. <coughs> Fuck me, I'm dying. Sorry, uh, we're being so noisy so early in the morning. Uh, I just wanted to try it at least once in my life, you know? But the timing of uh, when I like bumped into Su-chan ended up being harder than I thought. <laughs> I guess that's very like you, Nadia. But uh, let's hurry up and go. I want to share the information I got from Van, too. Yeah, you said he messaged you uh, late last night, right? Apparently there's a lot going on with him, too. Let's uh, like talk about it before lessons. Wait a sec. Uh, Nadia, what's wrong? We managed to stop the event yesterday before it happened, but... Yeah, but what's this, like, feeling? Yeah, you can't be serious. Like, what the hell? I'm being serious, okay? Uh, I only saw it from far away, but... Uh, don't you think we should, like, inform the police? Uh, but if we do that, then, uh... Wait, this is... This, uh, presence. It's coming from the... Like, in a garden. Or like, the courtyard. Uh, yeah, let's be careful. Wait, you two? The hell? So, what? That's right, we are concerned about the future of this country and about the pride of the Calvert people. Oh. Uh, can you not see it? Because of all these immigrants, we're slowly being... 
Yes, slowly, they're stealing everything from us. Young people who will inherit the future of Calvid. Are you really okay with this? Wait, these guys are the anti-immigrants. They've got Shinyon and uh, the other, like, uh, kind of, uh, immigrant students. They must have taken them one by one as they were coming to school and uh, are now using them as hostages. They know that someone's going to call the police, but this could be bad. There are eight enemies. What should we do, Su-chan? They have too many hostages. If we want to save them all, we'll have to, like, focus their attention on something else. Stop! Please don't kill us! Just be quiet. We'll just have to follow their orders. Yes, if we, uh, do anything reckless. Uh, please don't misunderstand. We do not want to harm these students. We just want you to think about this earnestly. And you must know what I mean by earnestly. Shino, what the hell should I do? Should we uh, call the police? But if we do that, the students that they've taken hostage will be even more in danger. If only we could take their place. I see, in that case I'll... Um, Miss Matilda, but uh, I don't know if they'll... Uh... Like, agree to that so readily. Uh, no one move, please. Uh, Miss Toa. You came, uh, Miss Toa. I think I know what's going on here. Please leave this to me. Wait, Toa, you may be... It's okay, uh, I don't think their main objective is to cause harm, so we should be able to negotiate with them. Judging by what you're saying, I take you guys to be the anti-immigrant activist group, uh, the true, like, uh, Melancholists or something? Hmm. hmm, indeed, you are right. I'm not in any position to, like, argue uh, what you guys are saying. But if you really want to argue your point about, like, anti immigrancy and you want people to, like, hear what you have to say then won't you sheathe your weapons and leave this place to me hmm so you want to negotiate with us yes exactly i'm a teacher here but i'm also a member of the non-governmental organization, the International Cooperation Organization. And I have the authority to pass on what you're saying to the bulletin magazine, Zamuria Opinion, where they can like, where they like investigate all kind of like opinions and kind of post them, that kind of thing. So, if you want, uh, it's possible to get, like, what you're saying, uh, like, written about in there. ICO. Zemuria Opinion. ICO. The Zemuria Opinion? 
Rather than just blindly wielding your power in a place like this, you'll be able to argue your point for the future of Calvert. Isn't that truly what you're after? Hmm, so you're saying that in exchange for us letting the students go, you'll give us a place to, like, argue our point. It's not a bad condition, but I'll only be able to release about half of them. Is that because you want, uh, like a guarantee that we'll let you go home unscathed after this? Yes, is that a problem? No, but in that case, use me as, like, that guarantee. You might be able to tell by my name, but uh, I have some Eastern blood running in me. So I can perfectly qualify for your insurance, can't I? What? Hmm, to think it would come to this. Very well, but until we're sure that you're telling the truth, we'll be uh, doing things our way. First, we'll start by releasing half of them, and after that, we'll uh, see how things play out and release the rest. You okay with this, leader? It's fine. Our main goal today was to uh, show the people like how we feel. If we can get the word out to even more people, then that's for the best. Wow, so this is the art of negotiation, huh? Thank goodness with this. No! Hmm. Yeah, the school gets attacked by terrorists. 
Oh damn, what the hell is going on at this school? First the bombing incident, and now the next day we got terrorists. So this is, uh, it looks like this is right before we, uh, well, right before we, like, turn in for the night, I guess. Boy, what the hell, boy? Wait, this is... Wait, it's uh, the night before, so we must have turned back time like this far. You okay, Archon? Uh, I think she said that exact same thing last time. I can't remember how I translated it. She's like, uh, yes, I'm just a bit like, uh, like tensed up or whatever. Oh, so organize stuff in the, uh, in the. Resolution office, or oh, there's still something we gotta do. Uh, Swin and Nadia, that's something I wanna ask you to do. Will you help me out again? Yeah, you don't even have to ask. If uh, those guys are gonna appear, then we can't just like relax like, and do this either. Yeah, we can't just uh, let them like run loose. As a reward, you can take us round uh, all the good sweet shops in the capital, along with all your friends too. <laughs> yes. So what are we gonna do? We only have those uh, memories. And like, even those are kind of like, hazy. We'll have to investigate a bunch of stuff. So, should we go to the school for now? It seems like those guys infiltrated during the night time. Yeah, night time there should be security guards there, but... Uh, let's just go there, if nothing else, just to check. And uh, let's make sure that we're in uh, good shape before we do as well. So we're probably going to have a fight. Yeah, we can still do Mariel's, Mirabelle's side quest. I'm not going to, though, because it'll just end the same way. Let's, uh, so yeah. I wonder if it'll let us do the other side quest. Wait, what? Fuck's sake. If you go to Aramis, the main story will progress, and you won't be able to do quests or sub-events. Well, I don't care. It's it's not like that fight was possible for me at that point anyway. And it didn't say all of them. It just said some will, like, disappear. Wait, let me, let me double-check that, actually. Yeah, it does say it just says some quests and sub events. It doesn't say everything. So I might still be able to do it. I don't know. Looks like the police are pulled out. I mean they just got done investigating this place, so I don't see anything out of the ordinary from here, but mm, I don't think we'll be able to tell without like going around the inside of the school first. Yeah. Hey, uh, you guys are You're from the student council, right? Don't tell me you were doing work like until this late. Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, the thing is, I've got so much, like, stuff to prep for the school arts festival. You mind if I, like, get in the school and, uh, do just, like, a bit of work? Uh, sure, fine, uh, but it's pretty late, so only do, like, a little bit. Yes, sir. We managed to let get him to let us in, but, I mean, we could have just, like, snuck in if that didn't work. <laughs> but, uh, now we can go around and look inside the school. Yeah, if my uh, guess is accurate, then those guys are going to come sneaking in during the night. So, let's uh, think of a strategy while checking the inside of the school. Oh. Uh, they searched the school around, like, from every corner, and there was nothing, like, suspicious. So they decided to 
wait in a place that was easy to like, I guess, see what's going on. And then uh, after a while, Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Sorry for uh, coming so late. I've got some stuff, uh, like materials, that the students said they want to use tomorrow, so can I, like, uh, take them in? Oh, really? I mean, I don't mind, but uh, I'm going to be locking the back gate, so... Like, make sure to call out to me on your way back. Sure, uh, I'll make sure to finish this quickly. Uh, but like workers to be coming at this time, that's kind of, yeah, it's definitely suspicious. And, uh, look, there could be a lot of people inside that truck. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it looks like they've started, uh, <laughs> coming in, like, invading from a different place, too. If we let one or two of them slip away, then they could reunite with the other guys and, uh, retaliate. So what should we do? Uh, we'll need to... Round them all up at once. But, uh, wait. That guy's... This is, uh, Torowa. I'm gonna begin my, uh, scout patrol. I want all of you comrades to stay on standby until they get out a good place where we can hide. Uh, if we use that guy well enough... We might be able to draw out all of them at once. Oh, wow, Archon, what a coincidence. I was thinking exactly the same thing. All right, let's follow him. He should uh, let his guard down at some point. Are we actually doing a non-side quest tailing mission? We are. I'll be able to show what this is like. Unless maybe I did already. Yeah, follow the worker guy. You get too close to him and loads to you. It gives you this, tutor this tutorial every time. If you get too far, then you'll lose sight of him. I uh, don't lose sight of him don't get noticed so basically every time I move here my found thing uh, goes up the closer I am to him the higher it goes or the quicker it goes up if I hide in one of these blue things it goes down gradually but if he if he turns a corner then he will uh, my uh, lost gauge will start to fill up and that fills up really quickly so you need to you need to like have him in your sights I haven't failed one of these before but you never know. My only issue with this is sometimes it doesn't show up, like a place you can hide doesn't show up as blue for like a long ass time. So it's difficult to know in advance where you're going to be if you can hide somewhere. And this is actually, it's, it's going down really slowly too. Dude, see, like, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay, yeah, now my thing's going down. Oh, here we go. Excuse me? Alright, let me do this text. Hold on. Uh, we'll finally get to show off, uh, like, our main kind of, uh, talent, eh? Uh, well, I hope he doesn't, like, see us while we're following him. Looks like he's, uh, being cautious too, but he's not really a pro, so if we're careful, he shouldn't see us. This does seem to be harder than the side quest ones, because like my found gauge is going down real, real slow. The good news about when you're about to lose them is your found gauge also goes down when uh, they're too far away. And yeah, it only goes up when you move, so I could be stood like right here, and uh, yeah, it won't like go up. Okay, that's, that's convenient. It does seem kind of random where there's like where these blue things, these cover spots show up. Oh wow, this guy's uh just kind of doing a big old circle. Where you going, big boy? Hmm. Going in there, hey, into the cafeteria. Cheeky. Oh. Oh. 
距離を意識しながら俺たちも入るぞ。Uh, this is Toroa. There's no issues inside the,、uh, the fucking courtyard. I'll now search inside of the schoolhouse. That's it. That's all.、Uh, he's gone inside the schoolhouse. Let's be careful of how far away we are from him and、uh, like, follow him. So I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close, so it'll go up real quick if I do this. But yeah. I can hide and get it slower. Could be my imagination, but it seems to go down quicker the further away you are away from him. Uh oh, is he gonna turn around? Better fucking not. Oh, he's calling up. Is he? No? Just adjusting his clothes. Yeah, okay. Up the stairs, is it? Oh my god, that was fucking close. I thought he was gonna see me right there. Kind of a. Wow, that was actually close. t h a t s a little bit of 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 a little bit I'll、uh, keep checking until the end, though.、Uh, that's all. <laughs> he started to let his guard down. I guess it's time for us to strike soon. Yes, we'll do it when he reaches the third floor. Is this. This isn't the third floor, I don't think. What are you doing? h u r r y and get past that corner. Bruh. Hmm. Okay, he's going up the stairs. That was close. Yeah, I don't think they ever just see you. Like, if I walked in front of this guy, my gauge would be going, like, my found gauge would be going up real quick, but. He wouldn't just see me immediately. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, it stopped going down. See? Yeah, so when he reaches the end,、uh... oh, you can still lose him though. Oh, whatever. <laughs>